Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, today AMD released its highly anticipated line of Raven Ridge APUs. Now, for those of you that don't know what APU stands for, it means Accelerated Processing Unit. Now, APUs combine a CPU and a GPU on a single die. Now, the Xbox One X and the PS4 are basically custom APUs. Now, every tech channel today is unboxing the new Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G. Now, being a smaller and self-funded channel, unfortunately, Unfortunately, I can't unbox one for you today, guys. So if anybody out there that knows somebody, that knows somebody, that knows somebody at AMD, please send them my way so that I can have some APUs to test. Until then, we can only talk about the details that we know thus far. Now, the Ryzen 3 2200G is the cheaper of the two new APUs launching on the 12th of February. Now, these are built off the AM4 platform and are 14 nanometers. Now, Ryzen 3 is run by a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU, so there is no multi-threading. Now, like its big brother, it has a Vega GPU with 512 stream processors. Now, this is better than any integrated GPU that Intel has to offer, and in fact, Intel will incorporate Vega GPUs discreetly under 8th generation CPUs. CPUs. They even went so far to hire Raja, formerly from the Radeon group of AMD, to create an integrated GPU in their future products. Now, the Ryzen 3 2200G APU is not much different from the Ryzen 3 1200 that released late last year. Now, the new APU CPU is clocked higher but has only 4 megabytes of L3 cache compared to the 8 megabytes found on the 1200. Also, these new APUs offer only 8 PCI lanes, so this is not ideal for Crossfire or SLI setups. Now, with Vega 64 and GTX 1080 Ti, most don't want a multiple card solution anyways for their gaming. Now, the Ryzen 3 APU 2200G also has a lower power consumption of 45 to 65 watts, which is quite good seeing how it's overclocked at 3.5 for the base clocks and 3.7 for the boost clocks. Now, compared to the Ryzen 1200, it has a base of 3.1 and a boost of 3.5 gigahertz for those of you out there wondering. Now, we also get a boost on the RAM speeds up to 2933 MHz. At 99 US dollars, the Ryzen 2200G offers an incredible value. Now, for me, the Ryzen 5 2400G is the star of the new APUs. Now, this has a 4-core CPU with multi-threading enabled, so it offers 8 threads as well. Now, the new Ryzen 5 APU has a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost clock of 3.9 GHz. Now, the L3 cache also only has 4 MB and once again, only 8 8 lanes for the PCI Express. Now, like its little brother, it also has a Vega GPU incorporated into the die. However, it has 704 stream processors clocked at 1250 megahertz. Now, this effectively makes it have more teraflops than the PS4 and regular Xbox One and S variants at two teraflops. Now, this is quite a feat at 169 US dollars. Now, with the GPU market on the PC platform being in disarray due to the inflated prices caused by crypto mining, these APUs will become a favorite to first-time PC builders. Now, I do need to get my hands on one to test, but from the specs, we should be getting 1080p, 60 frames per second at high settings from this Ryzen 5 APU. Now, the Raven Ridge APUs are a solid solution to PC builders on a budget that want to game for under $400. Now, these APUs will give you better performance than the base PS4 and Xbox One. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about these new Raven Ridge APUs. Will you be getting a 2200 G or a Ryzen 5 2400G. Are you impressed that it has more teraflops than a regular PS4 or an Xbox One? And do you think this will hurt those console sales? Do you think it will impact Intel's i3 or i7 lineup? Please leave your comments down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.